Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to show missing categories in Power BI. I'll show you some data to make uh, this uh, clear. So I've got some sales data here with me, which is the sales key, the customer ID, the sales date, due date, shipping date, and the units sold. And I've also got some customer data, which is just the customer ID and customer name. Now this customer ID is the same ID over here. Now there is there could be a scenario where some of our customers may not have bought anything from us in 2017. And we might want to uh, target some promotion at them. But to do that first, we need to identify the customers who have not bought anything from us. So if you look at the data, I've highlighted Lisa, Harry, and William C. So for example, customer ID of 10, you go and look here, customer ID of 10 doesn't exist. And similarly, customer ID of 15 and 18 also does not exist. Now we want to identify such customers so that we can uh, mail them or ask them the reason they have not been buying from us. Let's first get this data. So I've imported this data. So you can see the customer data and you can see the sales data. And once I imported it, Power BI automatically created a link on the basis of customer ID. So it says sales and customer, they are linked on the basis of this customer ID column. Let's go here and let's get a table X. And we will just get um, customer name and sales unit just to see how much we've sold. And the, as you can see the name of Lisa and William and Harry are missing. But we want to see these customers. So one way is you go on to customer name and click here. So you do a left click and this pop-up comes and you just go and say show items with no data. And automatically you can see Harry, Lisa and William appear and they have no data. Now what we could do is just go to the sales unit and sort this. So automatically we've got a list of uh, customers who have not bought from us in 2017. Similarly, uh, in different scenarios, we could have uh, the sales people who've not been making any sales or some other scenario. And you can always find out missing data using this. I, so this is one way to show missing data in Power BI. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. If you like my video, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video. And I will know that you like it and I will create similar such videos. Thanks.